we think we have something really unique here and we are pleased to be able to share it with our anglers. We have worked out an arrangement with the Baptist Church and Pastor Odali, who is our guide here in this incredible place. So my name is Odali and I'm a pastor and I own this place for 40 some years. My call is to help especially those that are in need, like street kids. President of an orphanage for 28 years. We have a lot of alapaim in different size. Alapaim is a very smart fish, and uh, if you catch one in one place, you're probably not going to catch another one. So that way we can move to another lake and, and fish, and uh, we make sure that everyone that comes fish here catches some. This is a, and he got to pay a creek, and it's now been segmented into a series of lakes. This environment, although it's closed, is completely wild. It's got hungry arapaima and big ones. Uh, uh, we've caught them here up to 300 pounds. We're gonna fish from the bank because that way we have more chance to catch one and especially the big ones because the big one is kind of scared. Any noise, anything that they hear, they disappear. We're gonna try and go out and catch an arapaima on the fly, which is really exciting and let's hope for the best. Hey, oh yeah. oh, this is just a little, little air primer. You can imagine a big 250 pounder. It's making my nine weight work really hard. Is got really beautiful little specks on their tails. Fun fish to catch on a fly rod. Love their scale pattern. It's really beautiful fish. So let's get this guy back in the water and let's go find a bigger one. We're very careful to keep them out of the water for a short time. If we're going to take pictures, they are right there at the water. We take our pictures and we let them go back in the water. This is strictly a catch and release operation. Right now, there, yeah. now he's ready to go. Okay. How many arapaima do you have in this pond, do you think? I have no idea. I know one thing. Nobody never caught one that was caught before. Because yeah. I never saw one with this card in his mouth or anything like that. Ever dream of catching a giant fish on a Zara spook? <laughs> yep, there you go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. When I go to the end, or you lose. Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh. There you go. I'll get the picture. Huh? Okay, done. come on now. back from the pastor's place. I had a ton of fun. I got to catch arapaima with a fly rod on my nine way with little poppers. I got to catch a, a tambaki. Uh, I also got to catch a, a nice size arapaima. The pastor estimated them to be between 160 and 180 pounds. It was just a wonderful experience. 
and we're very excited to be the exclusive provider of this, this fishing operation so close to Manaus. Most of our anglers uh, have the opportunity to take a day on the front end or the back end of their peacock bass trip or multi-species trip and spend an extra day here in Manaus. Sometimes you have to spend an extra day because of flight schedules. This is the perfect day trip. Early on, the pastor and I tried to find a way to make this work in such a way that we were able to provide this for our acute angling family, and at the same time, he could use this to further his good works, to protect this wonderful region, and to run the orphanage that he supports. We started this little thing with the acute angler and uh, opened my mind to know that that was a way to help us financially. And uh, I found out that here I can work, I can play, and I can help my ministry. So it turned out to be a good thing. We are really pleased that this combination of protecting the environment, helping those who are in need of help, and finally doing a sustainable activity that doesn't damage the fish that is giving us so much joy.